When you're coming into the new year and you've got these resolutions and you're setting goals, make sure obviously number one that you're writing those goals down, but more importantly, make sure that you are speaking those goals into fruition. Make sure that you are communicating those goals with as many people as you can. Get it out there, speak them into fruition. It is a vital role of hitting them. In order to achieve the goals that you're gonna achieve in 10 years, you're gonna to have to become a different person. Who am I gonna to have to become in order to, in order to accomplish that? Right. Because that's really the task at hand. The, the day-to-day -day stuff that has to get done, that's important and, and it gets done, but it's more, who am I gonna to have to become to achieve my goals for 2019? Who am I gonna to have to become to achieve my five-year, 10-year, long-term goals it's a different mindset in looking at your goals to first look at the person you have to become and then figure out the things that you have to do to become that person right um, because the things that you have to do to become that person may be different than the things that you have to do to achieve that goal because right. it's kind of like they run in parallel but they're yep. two separate two separate focuses so yep. you know a goal of selling a thousand policies this year which will generate this much income there are steps and activities and things that you have to do on a daily basis that play out over months and quarters and over the year to get to that goal but the person that sells a thousand policies is a completely different person and the yep. steps that you have to take along the way to become that person are working in parallel with those action items but it's a whole separate mm -hmm. thing. It's a whole separate game that you're playing when yep. you're trying to become a different person. It's the framework that I put on every single goal that I set. Who am I gonna have to become to achieve that? What version of Tyler am I gonna have to create to be the person that can do that? It changes everything because you're changing from the inside out. That's ultimately the key to this whole thing. And it's not just sales, it's every other aspect of business, every other aspect of life. You have to be willing to constantly push yourself to do better, constantly push yourself to do more. And that's, at the end of the day, is, is how you will uh, succeed. Are you loyal to your goals? Are you loyal to those things that you say that you want. See, here's the uh, thought of the day today, my friends. Loyalty is not created when the goal is set. Loyalty is not created when what you want becomes clear. Loyalty is created in the struggle. Loyalty is created in discomfort. Especially for those that are in a storm right now, in a struggle right now, because there's going to be people that are listening to this that that are going to say, "Man, this is all great. It's awesome. You don't you don't know my situation, or or you don't know what I'm going through right now." But my biggest encouragement to those people, and if that's you that's listening to this, is that man, no matter what you're going through right now, that there is a blessing on the other side of it, and you will not receive that blessing until you become the person who can, and that's why you are in that struggle is because you are being molded into the person who can receive the blessing on the other side of it. So, those goals that you have, those things that you want, have you become loyal to them? Have you had the privilege of discomfort, the privilege of pain, the privilege of struggle in order to build that loyalty?